بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ ٹوڈے وی آر ڈسکسنگ ایم آر آئی آف دی لمبو سائیکرل اسپائن وی ہیو سیجیٹل ٹی ٹو ویٹڈ سیکوینس اینڈ ایگزیل ٹی ٹو ویٹڈ سیکوینس وی سی دیر از نارمل ہائٹ اینڈ ہائیڈریشن پیٹرن آف اپر تھری لمبا ڈسکس اینڈ ڈی ٹویلو ایل ون ڈسک Similarly, there is normal height and hydration pattern in L5-S1 disc as well. But there is mild disc dehydration in L4-5 disc which shows large size disc protrusion causing severe spinal canal stenosis posteriorly at this level with cardioquine and nerve root compression. Minimal impression is noted on inferior recesses of both exiting neural foramens. However, perineural fat pains are preserved on either side. Conus and adjacent lower dorsal cord is unremarkable. There is normal alignment of lumbosacral vertebrae. All lumbar and sacral vertebrae shows normal height and normal marrow signals. End plates are intact and there is no MR evidence of discovertebral osteobilitis. So this is a case where we have seen large disc protrusion at L4-5 level causing severe spinal canal stenosis. We can see and compare normal disc where endless fibrosis and nucleus pulposis is normal and spinal canal lateral recesses nerve roots are normal but at L4-5 level we can see because of large disc protrusion there is severe spinal canal stenosis at this level thank you very much assalamu alaikum warahmatullah